Hi everyone, so this is my hair care routine. Um, this was suggested probably a while ago, like I want to say April-ish, maybe even February. But I was kind of experimenting with my hair care still and I didn't really have like a set hair care routine. So today I'm going to do it finally. My hair is about 60% of the way dry as you can see. There's just, it's slightly damp. Um, I'm just going to start with what I use in the shower and that's my Revlon. Is it Revlon? No. Revlon. Ugh. They don't even make hair care. Redken Blonde Glam Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, I use both. They're like $15 a piece, so they're really not too bad, and they last a really, really, really long time. And these ones are actually brand new bottles, and I got these at um, Cost Cutters, and it was like buy one, get one half off, so I only paid $7 for one of these. And the next hair care product that I use that I'm about to put in is my Moroccan Oil. This is like $50 for a bottle of this, but it does come with a really nice little pump, and these last forever. Like, I don't know if you can see how much I have in there. But I still have like a whole lot left in there. Like it's filled to about right here. Right now. Or probably right there-ish. Yeah, I think that's it. And I've used this almost every day for a year or so. Or every other day for a year. So I just take a pump of that. Kind of looks like that. Rub it between my fingers. And I work it from the bottoms of my hair up. So I wouldn't apply this directly to a scalp. Just because it is an oil. So it will make your hair appear really greasy if you apply it directly to your scalp. But right now I'm just kind of working it through all of my hair. And I like to get it like kind of up here also. Just because I do have layers. So I have ends that are up here also. That need a little TLC. So after I work that all the way through I'm just going to take my flat paddle brush. Which I know it looks really gross right now. I got this at Sally's. And it's by Brush Strokes. But I love this brush. I've used it for quite a few years. And I know that brushing your hair while it's still wet is like horribly bad for it. And all of my hair is going to fall out. And I'm going to have split ends. And just, I don't know, my house will explode or something. But, sorry if I'm not looking at the camera. I'm like looking in my mirror right now. But I don't really care. I've been brushing my hair while it's wet for years. And I've never had horribly damaged hair. Other than just, you know, the damage that you get from bleaching it. Next, I'm going to take my hair dryer, and this is just the Bedhead Hothead one um, by TGI, and it's pink, so I like it, but it's also a very good hair dryer. These are $30 at Ulta, but I believe you can catch them on sale, and just blow dry my hair, and I have it on the hot setting. Can you even see that? I hope you can. I have it on the hot setting, and then I'm going to flip it up to high. They're just these nice little flippy switches. Anyway, so I'm just going to put it on hot and high. I like to get the bottom parts of my hair about 90% dry and then flip my hair over just because doing that I can get right to the root and it'll also give it a lot of added body which sorry if my boobs are like hanging out hardcore right now but it'll also give it a lot of added body which I love having super bodiful hair so that's always good <sighs>
now that our hair is for the most part dry we are going to flip it back on but this time I'm going to hold down this button right up here and this means cold and I kind of like the effect that it gives my hair when I keep it on cold because I find that the poofiness of it just kind of stays longer. Still have a couple little pieces that are damp, but it's very hard to get all of my hair dry. I have really thick hair, so I'm just going to re-go back over my white parts. funny faces while I'm drying my hair I've been trying not to but probably did not succeed just I like to make funny faces in the mirrors you guys there are times like whenever I know that it's gonna be really hot and humid outside and my hair is gonna get really frizzy for the most part it's not super frizzy but whenever I know that my hair is gonna get super frizzy and like puffy and funky I like to use this um chi straight guard i believe this is like 14 dollars, and you can really get this at any drugstore um i think i found this at fruth actually and i found another one at kmart but it's about 14 dollars, and the bottle lasts a really long time this also comes with a nice pump and it locks so that's always good for traveling which the moroccan oil pump locks too so really easy to travel with these two products um but i just use this whenever i know my hair is going to get kind of frizzy and a little crazy The next thing you want to do is plug in your hair straightener. I am just using the Remington Wet to Straight. I never use this on my hair wet. I would never suggest use hair straightener on your hair while it's wet. When it comes on, it automatically goes on 15. Make sure it's the blue one, not the green one. The blue is for just regular hair. The green is for like if you're using it wet. And I just kicked this up to 21. I don't know why, but I do. Like uneven numbers bother me, but I like it on 21 why does this heat it up it really only takes a minute or two for it to heat up it's pretty fast i don't need to straighten my hair really it's pretty tame and under control it's a little poofy but i just like to kind of get everything going in the same direction so i don't really section it off or anything i just kind of take big huge chunks and straighten my entire head of hair at once like some people section it off clip parts off no i literally just take the entire portion of my head to straighten it like the most I'll ever do is maybe like lift this part and I kind of curl it a little bit like roll my curling iron just for a little added bade then I'll take these pieces separately and kind of curl them so that they're a little flatter to my head um I don't really ever use a heat protector just because I can't ever remember to but when I do I use a sleek one that's in like an orange bottle I don't know the name of it it's like in my drawers and I don't feel like bearing it out like literally just taking the entire side of my head. I even pulled the back portion around. Just straightening my entire head of hair at once. And then where this piece is a lot thicker because I have a lot of hair on this side, I do kind of section off the top parts of these. Just grab them real fast and kind of straighten them separately. take my brush, put my bangs in my face, and go for it. I just really want my hair to kind of have like a smoother look. 
it's a little frizzier before I straighten it. Just taking like the entire back section of my head. And that's basically it for my hair care routine. Um, as far as like after bleaching and stuff goes, I always deep condition and do hot oil treatments. I usually get the VO5 hot oil, but I do have very, very soft hair, especially for it being bleached. My favorite hair straightener is the Got To Be Smooth Operator Smoothing Hairspray. It's not too stiff and it kind of leaves your hair looking really nice. Um, I was trying to catwalk work it, but it has a really funny smell to it and it kind of leaves your hair like very brittle filling, which I don't like. I do like the Sebastian Shaper a lot. Um, I just have trouble justifying like an $18 hairspray. I've bought it a couple of times like for special occasion stuff and then I'll continue to use it while I still have some. But it's just hard for me to justify an $18 hairspray. And then if I want a little added body, excuse me for my text messaging, this is the Suave Dry Shampoo, which I hate the smell of, but it gives you the most body out of any dry shampoo I've ever tried. So I just kind of spray it on underneath everything. And just zhuzh. Kind of has a cold effect on your head, but I like to do that even right after I wash my hair just for added body because I do like bodiful hair. Um, I do tease my hair sometimes, which I'm sure as you all know is super healthy for it. And then I have these little like baby hairs right here. I don't know how you can see them, but I've got like little baby hairs right here and they're like very hard to sway them to do anything. So part of what I use my hairspray for is to convince them to stay with the rest of my head and just make friends. Make friends amongst the other hairs. And if I feel like any place they're looking a little flatter, I will just tease them. But this is my everyday hair care routine. And when I have my hair flipped a little more back like this, I really just kind of brush it this way. And then um, when I blow dry it, I sort of blow dry it backwards with the rest of my hair instead of forward in my face. So I would just kind of hold it back and brush it sort of in this manner while I was blow drying it. And it kind of gives me this, this thingy that my hair does sometimes. But that is, and even when I don't want it to, it kind of does that. I have like a little cow look that's developing right in this area. And I have a really bad cow look right here. Anyways, I'm going to shut up about my hair now. Um, so I don't remember who requested that video, but whoever requested it, thank you so much. I'm sorry it took so long, but I have found all of my like holy grail hair care products. And I will list all of them in the down bar below. And someone actually requested today that I do a Vera Bradley haul, which, not haul, collection, which I don't have a lot of Vera Bradley. Um, but I do have some so I might do a Vera Bradley collection because I do love the Vera Bradleys I have I have stopped buying them though just because I've kind of gotten more into like faux leather things lately I don't buy real leather which kind of sucks because a lot of nicer handbags are real leather but I don't support leather so that kind of stinks but oh well I'm I'm happy I'm I'm really about ready to bite the bullet though on the leather thing just ugh, there's some handbags I want ugh Anyways, so someone requested today that I do a Vera Bradley collection and I might do one of those. I'm not sure. I don't have a lot of Vera Bradley stuff, but I do have, I guess, a good amount. So I might do one of those collection videos. I have stopped buying them. Like, I haven't really bought anything since my Vera Bradley haul. I've maybe bought one or two purses, um, maybe a wallet or something. I can't even remember. But I've mostly been into, like, more leather bags lately. But I hope you guys like this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions about my hair care routine or any questions about like certain hair products, I might have tried them. I've tried quite a few or I also do my friend's hair a lot. So I kind of know what's best for a lot of different hair types. We try a lot of stuff out for them. So feel free to ask me any questions you have about hair care and I will ask my aunt, she owns a salon if I'm not sure and try and get back to you guys on that and help you in any way I can. But I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Bye you guys.